to East Ukraine now and these plumes of smoke are coming from Donetsk airport which came under artillery fire. There's supposed to be a ceasefire in the region though this is being marred by sporadic fighting. Both the Ukrainian army and anti-government forces insist they're sticking to the truce. On Wednesday shelling hit a residential area and a school killing at least 11 people. RT's Maria Fanoshina is in Donetsk. This is the area of Donetsk city airport. The shelling has been continuing for many days already, but we've seen serious escalation in the last 24 hours. The new terminal is occupied by anti-government forces and they're claiming that they're being targeted constantly while the old terminal is currently under Ukraine's uh, military. You can see fire and the uh, black smoke. It's very hard to say exactly what it is, but it, it looks like a fuel station and apparently it is a fuel station or fuel storage or something like this and apparently this is the territory of the airport we've seen other tragic events here and incidents happening in the city on wednesday on the first day of school year here in the city of donetsk one of the central schools was hit and at least three bodies were discovered at the scene one of a parent another of a teacher and the third body belonged to uh, an old man who was a guard at that uh, school it happened early in the morning there were many kids and their parents at that time the school but uh, fortunately uh, all children are uh, safe it is very hard to say exactly who is responsible for these shellings and self-defense forces are saying they are not targeting residential areas while Kiev is also denying any involvement and just minutes later a minibus was hit in the same residential area here in the center of Donetsk killing at least six people the UN spokesperson has described the shelling of a school uh, an unacceptable uh, thing calling on all the sides to uh, bring their efforts and to do their best to help restore peace here in the region 